Now, David Barris, meteorologist Randy Ollis, and live reports from Ruth Ann Gordon and Dick Wolfsey. 24 Hour News 8 continues now. Well, probably the most visually dazzling experience you'll <laughs> ever have, or certainly the Daybreak Field reporter Dick Wolfsey has brought to us, is his segment this morning. Morning, Dick. Well, I would say, is, uh, uh, well, not since Danny the Duck, anyway. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, Dave. All right, Dave. Well, I don't know what possessed me to do this. You know, I put that idea thing up at the end of the show. Well, nobody called me for a couple of weeks, and I got desperate. So we, this is our last annual Dave Barris Lookalike Contest. Good morning, gentlemen. Now, just curiosity by <clears throat> raising of the hands. How many people have been told, you know, in public or when you're around, that you look like Dave Barris? Raise your hands. Okay. Now, put your hands. How many people voluntarily sent their own picture in? You can see there's some discrepancy here. So uh, someone sent these pictures in for you, is that right? All right, let's meet everybody. Tell us your name and where you're from. Real, some of these people came from far away. Bob Boyd, Danville, Indiana. Tell us what you do real quickly. Tell I'm principal of an elementary school. Whoa, that must be tough on the kids, yeah. Clarence Watson, Plainfield, uh, manager of commercial lines department for an insurance company. Right, thank you, sir. Terry England, Columbus, uh, service technician for Vanellis and Ferrer. John Wilt from Winchester. I work at the post office there. Now, you know, Barris did have a beard once. Yes. Okay, so this is a, a prior Barris, okay. Kevin Spillman, I'm a firefighter from Rushville. John Conway, computer programmer, Indianapolis. John Butts, Carmel, Indiana, uh, assistant director of pharmacy, community hospitals, Indianapolis. Randy Ellis, uh, meteorologist and uh, can't man about you, town. I can't believe that you got into this because there's absolutely no resemblance at all. And our last gentleman, back in the last guy to show up. Good morning. Jim, Jim Slayman, Indianapolis for Marsh Supermarkets. Good morning, sir. Good to see you. Now, I want to tell you something. First of all, have, have you guys seriously all been told this in the past? People come up to you and just in, the, in public and say you look like Dave Barris. Did you consider that an insult or a compliment? I'm just curious how you felt about this. Now, wait, oh, wait a second. Now, who's the guy with the no, with this, which one is it, with the slanted nose? Dave Barris, come over here. Yeah. Come over here. Your, your name first again? John. Will. John, come here. I want you to look at these two noses, everybody, and notice the slant is almost identical. Now, this is something nobody could have expected. Look at the slant. Now, look straight into the camera. It's regal, though. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> you think it is? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Uh, we both got it in, in nasty fights, but you should have seen the other guy, right? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. You used yeah. to have a beard like that, didn't you? I did. Okay. I did. That was my early years. OK, now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Dave, get back to the anchor desk. OK. Actually, we, you want to do one quick thing. Let's pick somebody here who would be good at this. What's your first name? John. John, come with me real quick. Come here. I'm going to tell you, the, we're going to teach you to do some of the great ad living that Dave does. Dave, let him sit here for one second. Okay. We're just about out of time. J John, just sit here. Now, John, where's Randy? Did he leave? He had to leave. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you one of uh, Dave's great ad libs. I want you to say, I want you to say, now, hold on a second. This is a big secret. Okay, now here we go. Are you ready? Go. I'm going to do it over there. What's normal this time of year, Rand? See, great. See? Wow. wow, that's good, huh? Uh, it's, okay. uh, well, it's 44 or 52. It <laughs> okay. depends on the day. Now, coming up in the next segment, 10 reasons why it's good to look like Dave Barris and a couple of other surprises. All right. All right, we'll great. see you later. All right. <laughs> well, this is a great segment, isn't it? Oh, I, just, I just love this. The president is back on the campaign trail for NAFTA. That story and more just ahead with some handsome guys on Daybreak. Dick Wolsey reporting live from the Channel 8 studios. Well, we've seen the Dave Barris mustaches, but here is the real identifying characteristic. Who will win the Dave Barris? Well, that was a good one. Dave Barris lookalike <laughs> contest. We'll be back. <laughs> I fooled him. I got new shoes on today. It's 6.02. This is Tuesday, November 2nd. It was on this day in 1783, 210 years ago, General George Washington issued his farewell address to the Army near Princeton, New Jersey. Randy Ollis listened to Washington's farewell that day, and he's here now with his forecast. It looks like all the uh, Dave lookalikes over there are kind of mad. Why? Well, they have their tongue sticking out of the shoe. Oh, I got it. Excuse me. Why don't you tell them? I'm going to go over here and laugh, okay? okay? You go do okay, that. Okay, thanks, Randy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Brand new shoes. First day I wore them, and this is wow. just, just a coincidence, and you guys think I'm cheap. Well, is that something? Hey, how long did you wear your other pair of shoes? I had them 18 years. Seriously? Yeah, and 18 these, years. And these are, these have to last me now till I'm 65. <laughs> it kind of goes with that one blue suit. Yeah. Remember you, that you the first day you wore it 30 years ago? Uh, that was a nice suit. Wasn't yeah. I retired. It'd be cold. Yeah, maybe yeah. snowy too. Hey, we'll it, see. this has been 
probably Dick's best segment ever, wouldn't you think? Oh, I think so. This whole no show. No question yeah, about it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is a dazzling visual experience as we turn to Daybreak Field reporter Dick Wolsey. Good morning, Dick. You've obviously missed the satire in all this, Dave, if you think this is a, <laughs> if you think this is a compliment to you. Let me show you what's going to happen to the future of these birthday segments. We have some of our Dave Barris lookalikes. What's your name again, sir? John Butts. John, get, get, read a couple of these for us, will you? Okay. Just in time is 15 and one half today. Orville Corn is 84 and three-fourths today, and Alice Stump is 14.6 today. That's good. Let's give him a nice round of applause. That's good. Come on, get my next person. Okay. Okay. This is what's going to happen. Okay, we have some, you know, we're doing a lot of things on the show. You want to read a couple for us? Sure. We'd like to uh, congratulate Bob and Sharon on a divorce after 16 years. Good. And uh, Tim and Julie will be calling it quits after uh, 15 years, mm -hmm. and a happy divorce to Jim and Susan Arnold. Very good. Let's give them a nice round of applause. That's good. Okay, let's try one more here. Your name, sir? Clarence Watson. Okay, Clarence, yeah. Alex Smith's bicycle is two years old today. Okay. Henry Fife's car is 10 years old. Happy birthday to Bill Oliver's tractor. Good. That's the kind of, I think kind of that's the direction we're heading on this show, Dave. Do you know what I mean? Now, Dick? listen, for those, for those of you out there that you might have some question about how what it's like to be a Dave Barris lookalike. I got a, uh, a, a nice letter, I think it's Bob McDaniel, and Bob sent in the 10 reasons why it's a benefit to look like Dave Barris. I've added a couple of my own to, to Bob's list, and let's, let's take a look at these. Here we go, I'm gonna have to read them right off the list. I think we're gonna start with number 10. Debbie Knox will buy you a hot pretzel and an orange Julius at the mall. When? Number nine, you can go cruising for babes with Ken Owen and Eric Alvis. <laughs> Number eight, you can crash the Saturday night poker game with Jim Gerard, Howard Caldwell, and Fred Heckman. <laughs> Number seven, no one is suspicious when they see you mowing Mike Ahorn's lawn. Number six, waiters serve you really fast because they think you have to be in bed by 7 o'clock. <laughs> They're right. Number five, no reasonable person would ask you for a loan. <laughs> true. Number four, new car dealers don't pester you at home. <laughs> That's true. Number three, people ask if you're really Dirk Lineck. Number two, people ask you what it was like growing up with Harpo. <laughs> and number one reason, benefit of looking like Stan Wood stops you at MCL and asks what you're doing now. <laughs> and those are the ten top reasons <laughs> yes. and benefits for looking like Let's give a nice good. round of applause to that list. Okay, yes. there we go. Thank you, sir, very much. Let's have one more person in here, Dave. Yeah. Okay. La last list of birthdays here. Okay. Uh, Timmy Jones in his 113th day of preschool. That's important. <laughs> Yeah. Jerry Allen in his uh, second year at Sears. Yeah. <laughs> Boris Batson finishing his first year at Hardy's. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Okay. That's it, Dave. And that's kind of the future of what your lookalikes have to look forward to if they get into television, okay? I love it. We'll see you later. Hey, you know what? All we have to do is take a few minutes away from you. Yeah. We, could, we could work that in. I like it. The doctors have found a way to keep their physical therapy patients exercising. We'll tell you about it next in our health news. Well, it's the Dave Barris Lookalike Contest. Unlike Barney, where we got lots and lots of contestants, we were just a little bit desperate here, and we just practically had to take almost anybody that would... That would. But uh, it's still a contest, and you never know who's going to win. Hey, that's me on the weekends. Southwest. Wow. Hey. Thanks, Dave. Where'd you get that? Hey, 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 you gave me hey. that picture there. It wasn't me. No, that was oh. you. I've waited six years for that thing. It, I, it's just, it's too nice to give up. <laughs> now wow. I'm back on the waiting list I, again. I love it, yeah. But I'll move you up two months, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Daybreak Field Reporter Dick Wolsey having more fun than a field reporter ought to. Yeah. Is there any thought here by the crew or anybody who they like? Let, let uh, Carl take a quick pan here again of all of our... Everyone's had a chance to be part of the news. If you joined us late, I'm sorry. We're going to give you some idea. These are all the Dave Barris lookalikes. The crew have any thought in there? Steve Rickle? Yes, I can, sir. All right. Uh, the choice in here is the uh, gentleman there with beard. Oh, you're kidding. The beard one? Is that right? Right here. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Okay. Very good. How do you feel about that, Dave? Um, I, it, it's my younger days, and I like it. You yeah. like that? Yeah, okay. I like it. Yeah. Very good. Okay. By the way, can, we have time. We did this in the last segment, but I don't want to cheat the viewers. Plenty who of time, Dave. Plenty of time. Okay. Yeah. He has too much hair, though. Which has too much <laughs> hair? This guy has too much hair? <laughs> Let's see. It's getting oh, oh, well, no, yeah, I think uh, you're going to. Point. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Truth and, uh, wow, hasn't this been a wonderful morning? Oh, I tell you, one of the best shows ever. Look yeah. at all the Daves around here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs>
He didn't look Whoa, like that. Oh, who? An imposter. <laughs> I think so. It's dangerous there. Anyway, it should be a good day and the high temperature around 50. Happy birthday, Courtney. Five years old. Becky's daughter. Bye. <laughs>